Hello, it is 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. So we have. Uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs takes a uh, talk during a press conference. For the international scene, um, Ahmed El Morad is the winning side fighters of the 37th edition of the marathon. Salud. Welcome to our newsroom telephone conversation between the President of the Republic and the Canadian Prime Minister, the President of the Republic, uh, His Excellency Ismail Omar Ghele, received last Sunday after a phone call from the Canadian Prime Minister. Afternoon, a phone call from the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, the bilateral relations and the ways and means uh, to increase the level of exchanges and cooperation between the two countries and the two peoples were discussed during this uh, meeting. The discussions were then extended to the main issue on the agenda in the region, including agenda uh, the fratricidal war in uh, Sudan, which is now in a state of uh, no, in a state of total collapse uh, since uh, the victims and casualty of the armed uh, conflict is uh, added uh, to the uh, massive destructions of economic and social infrastructure, a source of uh, humanitarian distress that uh, had uh, has reached its uh, peak uh, regarding Sudan. The two leaders uh, agreed that uh, the urgency must go to mobilizations of the countries of the region and the world in favor of an early and to the rapid cessation of hostility as a prelude to a mediation process uh, between the main uh, protagonists of, the, of this uh, crisis. Uh, through the additions of President Kelly to a college of uh, IGAD Health State and Government designated to meet uh, with the belligerent in the Sudanese crisis, uh, the Republic, of, uh, the Republic uh, of Djibouti is first and foremost committed to the process of uh, uh, aimed at restoring peace in these sister countries, a model of uh, perennial stability in this part of the world. Our country is since uh, the outbreak of the war in Sudan has uh, been entrusted with a mission of welcome hosti hospitality and security of foreign nationals uh, that the respective government and their uh, repatriate uh, on special flights. Uh, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau naturally took advantage of his uh, telephone conversation with President Ismail Margele to thank, uh, to thank him and throw him all Djiboutians for the valuable assistance that our country, for the uh, valuables that our country is providing on the basis of the Sudanese crisis in logistical and security uh, support to the international community in general and to Canada in, community in, in particular. Uh, for his part, the Djiboutian Health State did not fail to express his gratitude to Justin Trudeau for the welcomes and hospitality offered to our compatriot living in Canada. Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed held uh, this morning a meeting with the delegations of the Gavi Group, uh, the Vaccines Alliance, uh, which was introduced uh, by the Minister of Health, uh, um, Mr. Ahmed Roble. Abdile. The delegation was composed of senior officials of the Vaccine Alliance. Uh, this group helps uh, vaccinate nearly half of the world's uh, children against deadly and uh, crippling infectious uh, diseases. Uh, discussion is focused on cooperation between the Republic of Djibouti and the Gavi Group and ways to achieve uh, uh, a long-term partnership uh, as part of its mission to save uh, lives, uh, reduce poverty, and protect uh, the world from uh, the threat of epidemic. Uh, Gavi has helped vaccinate hundreds of millions of children around the world, preventing millions of child deaths. Uh, the meeting was attended by the Minister of Health, uh, the advisor to the Prime Minister, Mr. Hassan, and the Chief of Staff of the Prime Minister's uh, Office, Mr. Ali Sila Abdullah, the General Secretary General of the Ministry of Health, uh, Dr. Saleh Benoit Atrab, assisted in this uh, audience. The United Chiefs expressed uh, alarm uh, at the situation in Sudan as uh, clashes uh, entered uh, their uh, third week. Uh, explosions and heavy weapons were had in the capital Khartoum despite the extension of uh, ceasefires for three months a day. Uh, the country has been plagued uh, since uh, April 15. The situation is, uh, in uh, Sudan uh, is uh, not getting any better. So the clashes have uh, spread uh, beyond the capitals and to other cities. Uh, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, has made uh, an, a, a statement uh, in front of uh, the all journalists uh, from uh, the Djiboutians and foreigners. Uh, 
He said explosions and heavy weapons were held in the capital's Khartoum despite the extension of uh, ceasefire for three more uh, days. Uh, the country has been playing it since April 15 into the clashes that have already left uh, 528 people dead uh, and 4,599 injured, according to the latest official figures. As the fighting enters its third week, uh, more people are trying to leave uh, the country by any means necessary. Mahmoud Ali Yusuf spoke to the national and foreign presses, including the two channels of Al Jazeera, and he said that those uh, more people are trying to leave uh, the countries by any means necessary. Those uh, who are able to do so are leaving the countries, according to the United Nations. Uh, according to the United Nations, more than uh, 15. Uh, thousand uh, refugees have gone to neighboring countries. Sudanese partners are organizing the evacuations of foreigners uh, and uh, more of them moving to the places deemed safer. Following the recent event, uh, the Minister of Interior, Saeed Nuh Hassan, uh, made a statement uh, today in the late morning to make uh, uh, to the population the directives uh, taken by the government. Uh, this large scale operation has uh, resulted in the apprehensions of about uh, 3,000 people. The objective of this mission was to apprehend illegal immigrants uh, and to secure the areas created uh, by these individuals. Uh, the operations was uh, carried out until the end of the morning and all the people apprehended in the framework of this uh, uh, operation were taken to the reformment centers of Negad. In the same vein, the Minister of Interior cherished the measures taken by the government to address these problems related to irregular, migrants, irregular migration. This large-scale operation has resulted in the apprehension, and the objective of this mission was to apprehend illegal immigrants and to secure the areas created by these individuals. The operation was carried out until the end of the morning, and all the people who apprehended in the framework of this operation were taken to the center of Negada. In line with the words of uh, the Minister of uh, Interior, very early this morning, an operation is, uh, against uh, illegal immigration was conducted at down this uh, uh, Sunday said to the by the defense and security forces of our country to track down illegal immigrants. Uh, this large scale operation has uh, resulted in the apprehension of about uh, 3,000 people. The objective of this mission was to apprehend illegal immigrants and to secure the areas created by these individuals. The operation was carried out until the end of the morning, and all the people apprehended in the framework of this uh, coup de point operation were. Uh, taken uh, to the refillment centers of Nega for these people. Several trucks uh, were mobilized uh, to escort them uh, to the borders of their countries of origin in order for these uh, operations to take place in the best conditions. Several procedures were uh, put in place in the Nega refillment center uh, where, uh, where tents were set up uh, and uh, the necessary first medical care was provided. Uh, this successful operation is the result of several high-level consultation meetings between the Minister of Interior and his counterpart of the defense with the top uh, brasses of the defense and security forces of our country. It should be noted that these large-scale operations will continue in order to eradicate the scourges of illegal immigration and crimes in our country. The Minister of uh, Interior uh, communicated that Monday's May 1st, uh, 2023, corresponding to the Labor Day, will be a holiday, non-working and paid. 
on the occasions of the celebrations of the World Labor Day, the Minister of Labor in charge of formalizations and social protection, Omar Abdi Saeed, made a statement in which he wished uh, all workers, he wished uh, a happy Labor Day. The Republic of Djibouti celebrate on this first uh, uh, May 2023, following the example of other nations of the world, the Labor Day. I take this opportunity to wish all workers, both public and private, all sectors of activity, I take this opportunity to wish uh, uh, an excellent holiday. This holiday gives uh, us uh, the opportunity to appreciate how far we come. We have come in promoting decent work and social justice in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic that has shaken the world of work. Fortunately, the national response has been organized to meet the challenges under the very high pre president of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, whose uh, selfness, uh, selflessness uh, and uh, far-sightedness uh, and uh, combine it uh, with the, his determinations have made it possible to limit and shorten the harmful effects of this pandemic on the economic and social levels uh, as it was uh, the case in many countries. In addition, it is necessary to know that we are in phase of progressive revivals of the national economy, raising new hopes on national economy and uh, creations of uh, new jobs. So, and working conditions uh, by uh, ricochet the hope of improvement of the uh, social well-being of our fellow citizens more than ever we must remain mobilized in the face of the changes that are impacted the world of work to turn them into the real opportunities as it's traditionally the case uh, this day uh, dedicated to you remains symbolic but uh, it is uh, also and above all for the government a day of its uh, uh, social partners an opportunity to look back on the evolutions uh, to look uh, on the evolutions of industrial relations over the past years the government's uh, priorities remains employment uh, and these issues is integrated into the, all the government actions taken by the government in the file of employment uh, many initiatives have been undertaken by my department uh, In the second part of his speech, the Minister of Labor spoke about the team of training, social protection and dialogue with the social partners. The reforms of administration initiated several years ago is uh, still in progress. The SECRA is continuing to modernize the taxes implementing the Code of Ethics for public servants. Uh, the elaboration of the new general studies of civil servants has just entered its uh, uh, completion phase. In the file of uh, permanent training, INAP has established itself as a key training providers capable of designing and training providers uh, uh, carrying out tailor-made uh, training actions for state and for the agents of state, the local authorities, and the, to deploy uh, uh, an active uh, pedagogy in the area of social protection by the CNSS uh, through the Universal Health Insurance uh, has consolidated its experience and is uh, injecting more solidarity and equity into the care. Another major fact, uh, a hospital with the capacity of uh, 220 beds and a technical platform was particularly developed to the extent of the role and missions of the CNSS. Uh, this is to improve access and quality of specialized care services, allowing an optimal and efficient functioning of the uh, country's health structure will be built uh, by the next year. The general objective of this complex is to support government's effort to address the growing burden of a communicable and uh, non-communicable disease that affects the country's social well-being and economic productivity of the countries by improving access to quality and affordable health services for the entire Djibouti's uh, uh, population while promoting inclusion and gender equality. The Minister of Labor maintains a fruitful dialogue with the social partners. Indeed, my department takes very seriously the issue of uh, occupational health and safety, a crucial subject for the workers, which is the theme of this year's International Labor Conference. The employers have uh, an imperative to limit op occupational hazards while improving working conditions for all employees by developing performance level for our cultures of safety at work. In this perspective, a strategy by formulating the profiles of the C. OHS uh, uh, by the Republic of Djibouti is uh, in gestation to fight against all forms of precariousness of workers. Uh. 
On April 13, 2023, the Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, met uh, the new Ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti to Somalia, Mohammed Ibrahim, in the receptionist room of the Hassan Basuma Officers uh, Hotel, and expressed his congratulations on his recent appointment. Uh, on the same occasions, the Army General wished that uh, the Ambassador succeeds uh, in his new tasks and responsibilities. They exchanged it on the global security situations in Somalia and evaluated the results obtained during the recent operations conducted jointly by the Somali security forces and the Atmis forces in order to eradicate the threat of the Al-Shabaab terrorists. Same day, the chief of the general staff of the Armed Forces received the Army of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Mr. Salad Ali Jelle, in the same room. This is the first meeting room between the two personalities who have discussed together during this interview the role that Djibouti contingent deployed in the regions of Hiran and Galmadou in the efforts to maintain peace in Somalia. Also, although significant progress has uh, been made, they stressed the importance of um, remaining vigilant to the uh, threat both in Somalia but also in the entire region. In this regard, the discussion is uh, also focused on future operations that will be conducted jointly within the and within and outside side of Atmis to eradicate the rigidities of terrorist criminals. The Yemen School of uh, Djibouti organized yesterday in the Great Hall of the People's Palace a farewell ceremony to the students of uh, 32nd graduating class as well as uh, the closure of the activities of the year 2023-2022-2023. This joyful uh, celebration took place under the auspices of uh, Abu Ahmed Group, uh, Salam Bank, uh, Deco, and Sharp uh, Stories with the contributions of Saba African Bank and Comfort Hotel, uh, Chick Barzan Stories. Uh, the event saw the participations of the Yemeni Ambassador to Djibouti, Abdullah bin Musallam al Sukatri, the chairman of the com committees of founders of the school, Haji Abdurrahman Ahmed Taha, the chairman of the board of the directors uh, school, uh, and it was also uh, worth noting the presence of the president of the Somali speaking pen, Mr. Ismail Hussein Tani, representative of the Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training, in addition to the director of a private Arabic schools, representative of a sponsor of faculties, members of and hundreds of students uh, to, of uh, this educational building, which uh, contribute uh, significantly to the effort of teaching and dissemination of the Arabic language in Djibouti. Participants in the event also followed with a visual presentation is briefly highlighting the various academic activities carried out by the students through the 2022-2023 academic year. During this annual celebration, the school honored members of the administrative and educational committee in recognition of their effort and effective role in promoting the educational process at the school, in addition to honor honoring the graduate 47 students uh, with certificate of appreciation and uh, mementos. In, a, in this uh, annual celebration, the school honored the members of the administrative and educational bodies in recognition of their effort. For his part, uh, the chairman of the committee of founders, Abu Ahmed uh, Abdurrahman Ahmed Taha, High School, uh, delivered a speech at the farewell ceremony for the students of the 32nd graduating class, uh, in which he emphasized the leading role played by the Yemeni school, which uh, it has become a building or scientific uh, vision, beacon. He congratulated the graduating students who successfully completed their high school educations. He also affirmed the commitment of the members of the Founder Committee and the Board of Directors of the school to exert uh, maximum effort so that uh, this school continues to build people and complete the marches of goodness, giving and excellence. For the international scene, sports 37 editions of the marathon of the, the Sable, uh, Mohamed El Morabiti wins uh, the title. The Moroccan Mohamed El Morabiti won the titles of the 32nd edition of the marathon de Sable after his victory in the fifth set stages that connected uh, a date to Corsi, date Corsi Dial Zaid over a distance of 42.2 uh, kilometers. El Morabiti won these stages after covering the distances in 3 hours, 18 minutes and 34 seconds, uh, followed by Aziz uh, Yashu, while the French uh, Vasily uh, Courier came third, uh, 3 hours, 35 uh, minutes and 54. 
five seconds. In a statement to the press, Mohammed Al Murabiti expressed his joy at winning his first marathon, the Sabla title, adding that he faced stiff competition. In addition to the high temperature that made the race difficult for all competitors in the women's category, Marilyn Nakasha won the fifth stages in four hours, 18 minutes, 14 zero seconds. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have uh, a good uh, evening.